Hey guys, I'm Michael Fleming, executive chef and owner of Healthy Meals Direct, and I'm gonna share with you five ways to stick with your New Year's health and fitness resolutions. So my first tip to help you stick with your New Year's resolution is to identify your goal. Are you looking to lose weight, gain muscle, look better, feel better, move better? Pick a goal and stick to it. So now that you've identified exactly what your goal is, your exercise routines and your nutrition should be in exact alignment with it. It's also a great idea that you plan all your nutrition in advance, what you'll be eating, this way you can prepare your meals. Also, you wanna plan your exercise routines. Write them down so when you go to the gym, you have a plan. Guys, when you go to the gym, and you have in mind to lose weight. You're gonna do more cardio, you're gonna lift lighter weights for more repetitions. If the guy next to you is lifting heavyweight, don't just join him and start lifting heavyweight also. Stick to the plan. And ladies, you have your workout routine all drawn up, you go to the gym and you see some new class or someone doing some new kind of exercise, just stick to what you have planned, stay focused. Tip number two, give yourself some time to reach your goals. Let your body catch up. If you only lose a couple pounds in the first month, don't be discouraged. Now that you're exercising regularly and eating properly, your body is loving it and it will begin to start making adaptations. With those adaptations, weight is gained in your muscle fibers. So on one hand, you may be losing fat weight. On the other hand, your muscle fibers are becoming heavier. Now that doesn't mean that your muscle fibers are getting huge, they're just becoming more dense. So when you get on the scale and you don't see the weight moving in the direction you'd like or as fast as you would like it to, just understand that there's adaptations going on in the body. These are good things. You're now getting in shape. You're now able to perform more work. You'll be able to exercise longer and harder. Tip number three, getting back on track. Say it's Tuesday, you go out to dinner, you go to a family get together. You eat something you're not supposed to. Isolate it, put it behind you, get right back on track. Don't turn one cheat meal into a cheat day or a cheat week where you just get back on your diet Monday. It's one meal, isolate it, put it behind you. Also, say it's Monday, you're supposed to go to the gym, you can't make it for some reason, you're running late. Don't scrap the whole week, just make sure you get there Tuesday. Don't wait until next Monday to get back on track. It's just one day you miss, it's not an entire week. Just go to the next day. Tip number four, don't compare yourself to others. Stick with your program and have patience. We're all unique. We all gain and lose weight at different speeds. And tip number five, don't starve yourself. By skipping meals, naturally we assume that expedites weight loss, but it doesn't. Our bodies cannot be so easily manipulated. When we skip meals, our body actually slows down the rate at which we burn calories. Balanced portion meals and meal timing are key to promoting a healthy and efficient metabolism. Thanks for watching. Hope these five tips help you stay on track with your New Year's resolutions. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more videos coming soon.